Are you really tired? Feeling down and difficult to move forward. You carry all this weight, but you can't turn things around. Well, you might actually just be a flat tire. What's up guys, 007 here. I'm the type of guy that likes to be prepared for absolutely everything. I pack ahead of time, I plan ahead of time, I get my lunch ready, I get my waters, juices, snacks, fruits, you name it. Chances are it's in my bag ready to go just in case, you know, just for those just in case scenarios. I usually get called the mom of the group. I'm not sure if I should be proud of that or not, but recently I found myself out on the road, not prepared at all for what was to come. I was driving on my merry way back home and I got a complete flat tire, like down to the wheel itself. You know, there's the tire and then the wheel, everybody calls it a rim and it's, it's not a rim. The wheel has a rim, but it's not a rim, guys. Please, please. We gotta, we gotta put a stop to this. Now, ironically enough, since Chase Bank owns most people's project cars, they know a thing or two about wheels. And on their website, they actually have this article, which I'll have linked down in the description box below, about the difference between wheels and rims. They write, the wheel is the metal unit that attaches the wheel hub to an automobile via an axle, while rims are the outermost part of the wheel assembly. So there you have it, folks. Anyway, I was out on the road with this flat tire at the pullover and I was feeling lost, scared, deflated. <laughs> Now, foolishly, I linked my car over to a local tire shop that was able to patch up the tire and thankfully I hadn't bent my rim in the process and I was able to go on my... I just called it a rim. Now, as if the universe had heard my cries of desperation, a company by the name of Lastfit reached out via email, which you can too if you're a company and you want to send me something to review, and asked if I wanted to try their new smart tire inflator. Now, you may ask, what's smart about a tire inflator? Doesn't it just inflate tires? Huh? Well, this one actually went to college and graduated with a full 4.0 GPA, eventually went on to become an exemplary tire inflator for all future tire inflator generations. Anyway, it's got a bunch of cool features, so let's get to the unboxing and I'll show you guys what it's all about. Right off the bat, the first thing that stands out to me is the size of this box. I've used many air compressors in the past and this one is by far the smallest of the bunch. The included carrying case has some nice quality to it. it. Reminds me of those old school Nintendo cases that you used to buy with your Game Boy colors and stuff. I guess I'm showing my age a bit there, but you got some welcome cards with a thank you for your purchase, some quick using tips, useful if you don't want to read through this little booklet, which I highly recommend you do because it's got some features that you want to know about. Onto the main attraction, I like how it looks with this textured plastic and red accents. The flashlight and ports are on the back and it's got some nice weight to it. It feels dense and well made and it doesn't look like they skimped on materials here. Onto the accessories, looks like we have two sets of hoses that are going to be used for pumping as well as a car charger and some attachments for a ball pump and various types of different balls, a USB-C to USB-A cable for charging at home, and a 12 volt adapter to plug into your car when you're out on the road. I like that they've included two high quality braided hoses here. The braided lines are going to help with longevity and the fact that they're removable means you won't have to replace the entire unit when the hose breaks or has a leak. That's actually an issue I've had with two of my previous air inflators and in this case you won't have to worry about that. Now that we've checked out everything inside the box, let's go outside and see how this guy does. It's fire out here. Here we have a perfectly inflated tire, but for demonstration purposes, we will be simulating a flat while driving on the road. Now, if you find yourself in this situation and you're out on the road, keep in mind that the driver's side door jam will have a small sticker or plaque there that has the recommended PSI ratings for the front and rear tires on your car. 
Also keep in mind that that is for the factory wheel and tire setup. So if you have an aftermarket set of wheels and tires like I do, where the diameter might be a bit larger or smaller and the width might be larger, that those PSI ratings might not be fully accurate, but you can still use them and get home safely. And then from there, maybe research or set the pressures to your desired values afterwards. But yeah, that bit of information is always there for you to reference just in case you forget what pressures you need to set your tires to. Now that we know the correct pressure setting to put the tires to, let's take the last fit compressor and click on the hose and attach it to our valve stem. So now that we've got this hooked up, I'm going to adjust and make sure it's on the car setting. I'm going to adjust the PSI to the desired, which is 32 for my tire. And we can see that it's at 6.5 right now. Now I'm going to test with a timer how long it takes for the last fit air to pump up the tire. So I'm gonna start them at the same time. Three, two, one. Wow, that's, that's genuinely impressive for something this small. For reference, I have an iPhone 13 Pro Max and uh, lengthwise, this is smaller and widthwise, this is probably about two or three of these phones stacked on top of each other. For pumping the air from about six PSI to 32 in just under three and a half minutes, I think that's very tolerable if you're out on the you know side of the road and you need to pump your tire up from almost completely flat. In three and a half minutes for something this small, that's that's very impressive. They've built something really nice here with the Last Fit Air Compressor. You keep this in your glove box even, it's so small, especially with that hard case that comes with it. It's got all the nice attachments that you might need out on the road. Cool feature as well is this little light here. You can press it, turn it on. If you're in the dark, you could see where you're working. It's very, very convenient. You could tell that they really thought this through and added all the features that you're going to need. Volume levels also were super tolerable. It wasn't loud at all. I don't know if it came through the microphone. The battery meter is still at full charge. I did see a dip to three bars momentarily before it went back up to four. I think that if you're on the side of the road, just using the built-in lithium battery that's in here, you could probably pump all four of your tires from nearly flat to full, which is very rarely going to happen, I think, unless you've gone through something disastrous, in which case probably your car is in a lot more damage than just uh, needing air in your tires. But yeah, I think the built-in battery is really nice. I think it's 20 milliamp hour, 20. I'll, have, I'll list that up on the, on the screen. I'd imagine if you have a bigger tire, like from a truck or something, it'll probably bring down the battery a bit more. But otherwise, this is, this is a really impressive unit given the size, you know? I have a much larger air compressor. I think it's the Via Air P88. That one's a lot more of an old school type. You can see the cylinder and the compressor in there. It's got an analog gauge for the convenience of this unit where you can set the PSI, just set it and forget it and just let it do its thing until it pumps up to the correct pressure level. I think that's really nice. Everything from the packaging and material choices feels like a robust unit. It's going to last a long time. And just the size, I, I still can't get over how small this is and how it was able to pump up the the tire from six PSI to 32 that quickly in under three and a half minutes. So yeah, I think this is gonna be a recommendation, guys. Uh, LastFit did send this unit to me to review for free. So full transparency there, they didn't ask me to give a positive rating or anything. And I told them I'm gonna give my viewers an honest review of this. If it's not good, I'm gonna tell them it's not good. And they were totally cool with that. But given what we've seen so far, I'm, I think this is a really good unit and it's worth buying. So I'll have a uh, promo link in the description box. If you type in 007 at checkout at LastFit's website, you'll get a, I believe, 15% discount and I'll also get a kickback, so I appreciate that. I also have an Amazon link in the description box below if you wanna buy from Amazon and get that prime shipping. So yeah, just a really well-designed and well-made unit and I think a good addition to any car owner. Everybody should have one of these in their car for those what if scenarios, especially with all these new cars that don't have spare tires or toolkits anymore. I think you, you gotta buy the tools yourselves and this is a very good tool to have in your car. So that's gonna be it. Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.